Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to create this beautiful animation to showcase some timeline like this. Here, I am showcasing the timeline of the different winners of Nobel Peace Prize in the recent times. I created this animation using Morph Transition and it's a very simple animation to do even though it looks quite complex and that is what really stuns your audience and makes them remember your presentation. Let me show you how I created this simple but effective effect using Morph Transition from scratch. I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The first step is to set your prototype slide with the right kind of information. For example, you can see that I've got a picture of a particular size and then we have the year and the explanation text. Make sure that all these elements are properly set up for the remaining ones as well. For example, we need to have the photos all of the same size and the font type used and the font size used should be the same in all the slides. So there is consistency in the look and feel as the people scroll through the various pieces of information. And if you see, these photos were actually in color, but the color scheme used for each of these photos was different. And that is the reason why I used a black and white treatment here to ensure that there is consistency in the look and feel. And for the subsequent slides, you don't really have to bother about placing them in the right position because we are not going to use these positions later on because we are going to create a scroll. Just that these elements all need to have the same size so there is consistency. So once we have these elements set up, the next step is to create the scroll. Now how do you create the scroll? You copy all these elements, that is all the years, and then place them one above the other like this and then group them together with a little bit of space. The same way, you place all the photos picked up from the previous slides. Let me zoom out so you can clearly see what we have got here. These are all the photos that I picked up from the previous setup slides and I gave a little bit of gap between them, ensured that they are all aligned properly. You would notice that some elements are placed one above the other and some elements are placed one below the other and that is to give that scroll feeling to the audience. Now once we have this scroll set up, the next step is to create the background so we can hide the scroll. Let me show you how I did that. This is a background that I got from FreePick. Let me copy this by pressing Ctrl C and then right click on the white area behind it, go to format background and say picture or texture fill and say clipboard. So the same photo is now in the clipboard. Now I'm going to have this placed right on top of it for now. Let us create a duplicate of this. We don't really need this photo right on top of it. Instead, I'm going to take this text element. You can see that in the first prototype, I ensured that everything is placed the right way. I copy all these elements and then paste it exactly in position. Then we can go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle just large enough to cover these ears. And that is a very important one. And do the same thing for the photo as well. Just large enough to ensure that the photo is covered end to end. And also the corresponding label also needs to be covered. So let me make a copy of this and use that to cover this explanation. Make sure that your explanation is all of the same consistent size. Now we've got our three shapes in place which would cover the elements that we have on slides. So let us select all these three elements and then go to merge shapes and say shape union. Now this is one shape. Then let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery and pick up a rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the entire slide area and send this to back. First select this big rectangle in the background, then hold the shift button and then click on this second shape that we just created and punch a hole. How do you do that? Merge shapes and say shape subtract. Now can you see this is the shape that would act as a mask for us to cover all the scrolling elements. Now we need to hide this shape so it is not visible to the audience. How do you do that? It's very simple. You select the shape, then go to fill and then say slide background fill. Can you see now this is the masked shape but it is not visible to the audience and that is because it has the same color and same pattern as the background. Now 
you don't need these elements we can delete these elements instead stick the scroll for example this is the scroll that we already have let me zoom out so it is much easier for me bring this mask to the front and now you can see that this is the slide area now i just need to ensure that the relevant year is brought to focus by using my arrow key so this is 2020 so i can bring it over here and since this is the photo that is relevant to it i can make sure that it is right in the center and the corresponding explanation also needs to be scrolled properly so let us go up or down so depending on how exactly you have stored and let us move this to accommodate exactly the explanation and it is right in the center so this is beautiful so we have got our first one in place we don't need the first uh, slide because that was only to ensure that we have the background readily available in case we need to use that again now let us make a duplicate of this slide and let us make the next change so what happened in 2021 so i'm going to use my arrow key on the keyboard to scroll it to 2021 and then i bring in the relevant picture of the person and make sure that it is placed exactly inside the box and then you bring in the corresponding explanation and you've got your second slide in place now you can go to transitions and use morph transition that is how it scrolls now you can see that we have these ugly lines here that was only to ensure that it is easy for us to place our various elements once you finish doing this scroll for various years the corresponding photos and the explanation you can go to each of these slides and then remove the outline by going to shape outline no outline and do the same thing for the first one as well now that is all there is to it you have your first slide and it scrolls pretty beautifully to the relevant year photo and the explanation and you keep doing it for as many years as you want and your timeline is ready it is just a matter of duplicating the slide using morph transition and placing the right elements on the slide now talking about showcasing pictures on your slide there are some very creative ways you can do so and these are some of the templates that i'm going to showcase from our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle in case you don't know what comprehensive all-in-one bundle is it is a collection of more than 4500 premium powerpoint templates that allow you to tell your story beautifully with custom animation all the templates are professionally animated and they are really beautiful if you were to create all these animations yourself you will waste a lot of time everything is available readily for you in this product I will leave a link to comprehensive all-in-one bundle in the description box below the video you can click on the link and learn more details about this product by the way talking about showcasing pictures I have created this beautiful animation tutorial where you can showcase pictures in a very interesting fashion like this and this is shown in a step-by-step -step fashion in this tutorial I will leave a link to this tutorial right now on your screen you can click on the link and watch this video next to learn another interesting way to showcase your photos if you want to join our 25 creative powerpoint ideas five day free email mini training you can click on this link here you get 25 useful powerpoint ideas you can use in your next presentation i have not shared those ideas elsewhere so click on the link join the course and i will see you inside